Wow, that is fun. And man, did that pay off big time. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. All the fish are alive. <laughs>folks it's tournament morning on Grenada there's a little anxiety ain't gonna lie we had a good first day at the tournament we want to back that up with a better day that's always my goal is to have a better day on day two which is tough because these fish are stressed there's a lot of crappie fishermen on the water and uh, at the end of the day uh, there is definitely a little anxiety but my goal is always to get seven fish and we have a fantastic day and watch how the day changes Stay to the end because I'll tell you what, you never give up and you're going to see frustration and then at the end of the day, you're going to see an extremely happy angler because we made a change to better our number and it pays off. That's the important thing. So always stay in with the game, always staying positive that things could change at any moment. Thank you. So championship morning, eh, it starts about the same. I was at the uh, bottom of the pack coming out here, so I got here, definitely got out here later. And with a 115, it's hilarious to watch all these boats with 250s fly by you. That's a 134, that's a good fish. So we want this to be our small fish of the day, but we'll keep it, that's good. fish that's nice let's we'll see what this guy weighs he's not gonna weigh a lot but it's good to have three in the bucket right now 119 is still working. I was a little concerned at the beginning. We're going to take it. It's not a huge fish again. We can get out of here with our seven fish and then go, honk, go hunt for the hogs. That's fine. We might get a hog in here too. So that's the beauty of it. These fish are a little smaller. a small one but that's number five we're gonna keep it we're okay with that get our seven in that's what i say get seven in first number five do you feel the anxiety do you feel the stress i'm always stressed about getting my first seven fish in the boat that's number one priority even though these fish are small i am happy that we're getting some numbers and that we're at least looking like we're going to at least get our seven then from there we're targeting big fish, folks. And, and I am a little disappointed on the size, but at the end of the day, seven is first priority. Make it 12, come on now. Take the pressure off me just a little bit. I don't know. Good night. No. Awesome how I caught that fish though, man. I played him. Threw that sucker out in front of him.
it off a stump. Bam! Almost breakfast time. Get seven, get breakfast. That's how we're gonna treat this. One, three, oh. So, I haven't haven't used the net yet. I'm, you know, I've talked to a lot of people here, and it's very clear that I am gonna have to either learn how to use braid, or perhaps go up to a 10 pound mono or fluorocarbon. Because a lot of these guys just they flat out don't use the net. Um, that's of course if I'm fishing by myself. But my plan is to, you know, to always have a partner in the boat or somebody that's gonna be able to manage the net for for me. I think the future, like I said, of crappie fishing is gonna be going to a primarily a somebody's gonna be the primary fisherman. The other guy's gonna be there if you want to cast to a fish. I mean, I think that second person has to be able to fish. I mean, there's no joke. They're not just the net person. They have to be able to cast, pitch stuff like that to help out but that's my thoughts anyway that's seven we're gonna have breakfast now I gotta admit that took a while it's only 9 30 but it felt like a while that's two and a half hours I really don't have a really good fish yet either. But I got seven. And I got a honey bun. Here's Matt. Matt Rogers right here. I'm pretty sure. I like that kid. He's awesome. So is Josh Jones. All those guys are, man. They know how to fish. Gotta be the best fish of the day right there. Worked on him for a while. Gotta be the best one of the day. Eh. No, it wasn't. Very frustrating. But it's gonna be our bonus fish. Yeah, we'll find out what the bonus fish is. Bonus fish, one in case one dies, blah, blah, blah. You look so much better down there. It's crazy. It's so frustrating, you work at it so hard and then he comes up, it's not half the fish you thought it would be. So, a pounder. Interesting how a bite will change day to day. All right, if you made it this far in the video, you're in for a treat. This is the first and only move we make during this trip. And let me tell you, it pays off. It was a big time move. I was frustrated with what we were experiencing there, small fish. And we say, what the heck, we're gonna go where we had some experience and some good, good things happen to us during the pre-fish. And it pays off. Check these hogs out. These fish are gonna get bigger and bigger, but remember at this point, we have several one pound fish in the live well. So even this fish here, which might've weighed only 1.4 or three, is a huge upgrade. They're all upgrades when we go to this location. So check them out. Freaking awesome. That's two upgrades since I got here. Hmm. Makes me feel way better. Wow, out of all of that I got them. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. You're shooting for everything and you grabbed me. Alright, kind of a midday update. We've got uh, roughly about two hours left. Two and a half hours left so uh, and we're at uh, ten and a half pounds is where I believe we're at so if we could get more, two more upgrades out here and we're in the big body of water right now we're not in the cove um, if I can get two two one and a halfers that would upgrade us probably almost a pound well I won't say a pound but 0.8 something like that we've got two small fish in there that we need to get out of there so that's the goal upgrade maybe two more here 
Then there's a cove I want to check out and spend the balance of the day in. I spent a little bit of time in it yesterday, and I just like I'd like to learn more before I get off this lake until next year. Oh, that's going to be an upgrade. Man, they are moving around. I don't know how much of an upgrade this is going to be, but it's going to be something. That didn't take long at all. Making a little bit up here and there. Pretty awesome. It's taking some major skill to pit cast to these things. They're just rolling, running through here. Crazy. Sometimes you're on, sometimes you're not. It's amazing. But I love culling up fish. That's gonna be your number five again. They're going out. Be as good as you feel. That is a hammer. That is a hammer. Yes! Yes! Good fish anyway. Good fish. 143. That's a big upgrade for us now. We're going to take number four out. You feel it? The energy is coming back and we are getting jacked by the fish that we're now starting to catch. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. I just waited till that bait came right in front of them. Freaking A, man. Now we're having fun. Have a little lunch, have a little fun. Man, that's freaking awesome. You missed the action. I turned it on, risked even losing the fish just to turn you turn it on. That's a freaking big fish. It's on fire out here right now. And I don't mean the heat. I mean the fish. The thump is going crazy out here. There ain't a soul out here. This could be my big fish of the day. 174. That's my big fish of the day. We might be staying out here a little bit longer. Number five. That's my big fish right there right now. Number five is gonna get set free. Oh, that's a freaking hammer again. I'm loving this out here. Talk about turning around the perspective on a day. That is a freaking hog. Look at that. Man, it's so loud here. You gotta chase them down. Wow, that is fun. I mean, I got the trolling motor on full blast chasing these suckers down. Big fish of the day, 198. Huge upgrade. Fish number two. Two pounder. That's freaking awesome. You know, it, it ain't for the win, it's, it's just the, the show you can do it on your own. It's amazing. Should be a big fish. This could be a big fish. Man, I hope this is a copy. This is what I'm gonna have to do. Folks, that is the biggest crappie I've caught. This any other day would be a three pound crappie. We are putting a number together now. This is exciting. Looks like it's gonna be around 257.
This could be a big fish. Concludes the rest of the fishing. Now we're gonna to go to the weigh-in. I'm gonna be going a little early. Um, I'll tell you what, that right there is just proof that you can't give up. Because I'll tell you, I, my, my, I didn't have a good attitude. My big fish was uh, roughly 1.3 at the time before we went to that last spot. And man, did that pay off big time. So I'm expecting that we're gonna have about the same number. We're gonna see how that turns out. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Live well or? Both. Remember, they're all, all the jewelry's off though, at least this time. One big fish. Oh, you gonna weigh a big one? Yeah. Okay, I, I got him. There's three. All right, I got Trace. There's four. There's five. There's six. And you're right here. Hey, great event as always. Thank you so much. All the fish are alive. <laughs> All right, folks, we improved over day one. We actually ended up with over 13 pounds. We actually improved our position from 36 to 33. Uh, this is the top. This is the elite field, folks. This is the elite lake. Um, I've only been fishing it for two days, so I'm completely stoked about how my day went. Um, and how it, how it ended. I mean, making that change, um, leaving my cove and saying, hey, we're gonna go gamble here a little bit. We had our seven fish, they weren't big, but boy, did that pay off with a two pounder, a two point, it ended up weighing 2.66 on the scale, which is fantastic on Grenada. Um, I think the big fish of the day was 2.82, so that was very close. Now we also improved on the angler of the year, which is um, really awesome. That was the whole goal of going to Grenada was to improve, improve prove our position so that we could guarantee a spot in the championship, which will be in March next year. Um, I forgot which lake that, that is, but we're currently in 36th position. They take the top 100. And so it would be virtually impossible for anybody to knock us out of uh, that position. Now going forward for three pound fishing, just so you know, I will be fishing solo going forward. I will also perhaps have a net man on board, our secondary uh, fisherman. Um, have that, that needs to be determined who that's going to be yet. But regardless, the future, in my opinion, like I've said numerous times, is that it's going to be single angling. Uh, you're seeing that on the top of the leaderboards time and time again, and that's the direction the crappie fishing is going, in my opinion. So anyway, I had a great time, great event. I so look forward to the next event coming up at the Crappie Masters National Champion. Stay tuned. Those episodes will be following. Please subscribe. Thank you again.